Have you ever wondered what those colorful glowing objects you see in deep space images are? The universe, a seemingly infinite expanse of space, is home to an array of celestial bodies. From planets to galaxies, stars to black holes, each has a unique story to tell. Among these cosmic wonders, there exists a particular marvel that stands out, nebulae. These aren't your everyday celestial bodies. Nebulae, with their vibrant hues and mesmerizing glow, are truly a spectacle to behold. They're cosmic nurseries where stars are born, and graveyards where they meet their explosive ends. But what makes them so colorful? And why do they glow? The answers to these questions unlock the mysteries of not just nebulae, but of the universe itself. They reveal the intricate dance of cosmic forces that shape the cosmos and the laws of physics that govern them. So, are you ready to delve deeper into the enigma of the universe? Let's embark on a journey to explore one of these fascinating objects, the nebulae. Nebulae, the plural for nebula, are not just ordinary space objects. They are extraordinary phenomena that take us on a journey to the very cradle of celestial birth. Picture this, colossal clouds of dust and gas, suspended in the vast expanse of space. But these aren't just any clouds, they're nurseries. They're the birthplaces of stars and planetary systems. Imagine a cloud, vast and teeming with the raw materials of the universe. This is the nebula, a giant cloud of dust and gas in space. The size of these nebulae is hard to fathom. Some are dozens of light years across, others span hundreds. To give you a sense of perspective, one light year is about six trillion miles. So, when we say giant, we truly mean it. A nebula's composition is as fascinating as its size. They are primarily made up of hydrogen and helium gas, sprinkled with dust particles and a smattering of heavier elements. This blend of materials is crucial in the formation of new stars. There are several types of nebulae, each with their unique characteristics. Emission nebulae, for instance, are self-luminous, emitting their own light. The famous Orion Nebula is an example of this. Reflection nebulae, on the other hand, do not emit light. Instead, they reflect the light of nearby stars. Then we have dark nebulae, which are so dense that they block out the light from objects behind them. They are often seen as dark patches against the backdrop of a brighter emission or reflection nebula. Finally, there are planetary nebulae, named so not because they have anything to do with planets, but because through small telescopes, they resemble the round shape of a planet. So, we see that nebulae are far from ordinary. They are the cosmic workshops where the universe molds stars and planets from the raw materials within its reach. They are the places where elements are born, where matter is created, where life as we know it begins. Indeed, nebulae are the cradles of creation, nurturing new stars and planets. What gives nebulae their incredible colors? An excellent question, and one that takes us to the heart of these celestial spectacles. The answer lies in the nebula's composition, specifically, the types of gases present, and how they interact with light from nearby stars. Let's start with the basics. Nebulae are vast clouds of gas and dust suspended in the vacuum of space. These gases, primarily hydrogen and helium, are often accompanied by trace amounts of heavier elements such as oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur. Now, these elements are not just idly floating around. Instead, they are being bombarded by high-energy photons from nearby stars. This interaction between light and gas is what gives nebulae their vibrant hues. When a photon strikes an atom, it can excite the atom's electrons, causing them to jump to a higher energy level. When the electrons eventually fall back to their original energy levels, they release energy in the form of light. The color of this light depends on the type of atom and the energy level of the electron. For instance, oxygen atoms commonly emit green light, while hydrogen and nitrogen often produce red light. Blue light, on the other hand, is typically a result of dust particles in the nebula reflecting starlight. These colors can mix and mingle to create a nebula's overall color palette, leading to the breathtaking images we often see. It's important to note that these colors are not always visible to the naked eye. Many nebulae are too faint or too distant to be seen without the aid of a telescope. Furthermore, some colors, like those produced by hydrogen and oxygen, are outside the range of human vision and must be captured using special filters. 
So, the next time you marvel at a colorful nebula, remember it's a grand cosmic light show. A spectacle where atoms dance with light, painting the canvas of the cosmos with their radiant glow. The colors you see are not just beautiful, they are also keys that help astronomers unlock the secrets of our incredible universe. How have we been able to capture such stunning images of nebulae? You might ask. Well, the credit for that goes to a remarkable piece of technology, a testament to human ingenuity and curiosity, the Hubble Space Telescope. Launched into low Earth orbit in 1990, the Hubble Space Telescope, or HST, has been our window into the cosmic expanse for over three decades now. Named after the astronomer Edwin Hubble, this telescope has been critical in studying nebulae, among other celestial wonders. Unlike terrestrial telescopes, Hubble isn't hindered by our atmosphere, which can distort and restrict the light that reaches us from distant stars and nebulae. This gives Hubble a clear, unobstructed view of the cosmos, allowing it to capture images of unprecedented detail and clarity. It's like having a front row seat to the grandest show in the universe. The Hubble Space Telescope has not just been a tool for capturing pretty pictures, though. It has been instrumental in expanding our understanding of the universe. By studying the light from nebulae, Hubble has helped us learn about the life cycles of stars, the composition of interstellar clouds, and the structure of our galaxy. Through the Hubble's lens, nebulae aren't just abstract blurs of light and color, they become tangible, intricate structures teeming with activity. Each image tells a story, whether it's of a star being born from a dense cloud of gas and dust, or the explosive death of a star in a supernova. Hubble's detailed observations have also helped scientists probe the mysteries of dark matter, understand the rate of the universe's expansion, and even discover new galaxies. It's an astronomical powerhouse, delivering a wealth of data that continues to shape our knowledge of the cosmos. Thanks to Hubble, we're able to peek into the distant corners of the universe and witness the cosmic dance of creation. So next time you marvel at a stunning image of a nebula, remember the remarkable piece of technology that made it possible. And remember too, that each nebula, each star, each galaxy that Hubble reveals, brings us one step closer to understanding our place in this grand cosmic dance. What are some of the most famous nebulae that we've discovered? You might ask. Well, let's take a cosmic journey to explore a few of them. First on our list is the Orion Nebula, a place where stars are born. Situated about 1300 light years away within our own Milky Way galaxy, the Orion Nebula is a massive stellar nursery. It's a bustling hub of activity where new stars are constantly being formed from vast clouds of gas and dust. This nebula is particularly known for the Trapezium Cluster, a tight group of hot young stars whose intense light and energy help to illuminate the surrounding nebula. Next, let's venture towards the Eagle Nebula, also known as the Pillars of Creation. This nebula, about 7,000 light years away, is famous for its towering pillar-like structures. These pillars, composed of dense gas and dust, are places where new stars are being born. The striking image of this nebula, captured by the Hubble Space Telescope in 1995, is one of the most iconic images in astronomy. Finally, we have the Crab Nebula. Located about 6,500 light years away, this nebula is the remnant of a supernova explosion that was observed by Chinese astronomers in the year 1054. What makes the Crab Nebula unique is the pulsar at its heart, a rapidly spinning neutron star that emits a beam of radiation with such precision that it rivals the accuracy of atomic clocks here on Earth. These famous nebulae are just a tiny fraction of the numerous nebulae scattered throughout the cosmos. Each one is a cosmic wonder, with its own unique features and mysteries. They are like celestial canvases, painted with the brilliant hues of cosmic dust and gas, illuminated by the light of countless stars. Each nebula is a unique masterpiece, a testament to the grandeur of the cosmos. So, what does our journey through nebulae tell us about our place in the universe? The nebulae, those ethereal cosmic clouds that we've delved into, are more than just celestial eye candy. They're the cradles of star formation, the sites of stellar death, and the cosmic recycling centers of the universe. Our exploration has unraveled the mysteries of these celestial bodies, 
revealing their colorful displays as more than mere beauty. Each hue is a tale of different elements, temperatures, and densities. Through the lens of the Hubble Space Telescope, we've glimpsed the grandeur of famous nebulae, each one unique in its aesthetics and story. Reflecting on this, we realize that understanding nebulae means understanding the life cycles of stars, and by extension, our own cosmic roots. For, as Carl Sagan reminded us, we are all made of star stuff. So, as we look up at the night sky, let's remember that we are a part of this cosmic spectacle. And in the grand scheme of things, we're all made of star stuff.